Hello guys, my name is Khan and in this video actually what we will be exploring through Tableau is that how you can explore different uh, relationship between numeric relation, uh, relation uh, uh, how you can explore different relationship between numeric variable. Uh, so for this video we will be talking about mostly that is there is a linear relationship between variable or not. Uh, how you can figure it out and how you can fit a line between numerical variable so for this variable so for this video i will be using this data set again a us uh, census data set i will just quickly go through this data so in this data we have it, this data set is about usa as you can see that we have only one country usa we have 51 rows in the data uh, each row is representing each state then uh, we have a state two variable which is the uh, short abbreviation of the state then we have divided the data into four regions and then we have some demographic variable like population population urban then death marriage and divorce variable uh, so the first thing that we will be doing is that we will be importing this data into tableau so first i'll go to my main desktop this is the that's uh, tableau uh, sh uh, shortcut for me i will click it so now the tableau is uploading for me so as i said several times before the tableau works in three steps first you import the data then you create your visuals and in the third step you share your visuals with your audience so first as the data is in the microsoft excel so i will just import it into tableau as you can see that i have successfully able to import all the data into tableau uh, the first row is, is automatically considered as the variable names so first thing i will do is to go towards my sheet one where i can now restart creating plot so let's see if i add a population variable in the columns as you can see my years are the numeric variables so let's see if i add under the under the row is another uh, numeric variable which is under the mayor before in the previous video most of the time we have used one numeric variable uh, or one categorical variable but in this video i will be using for columns and rows both numeric variable let's see if i add uh, the uh, sorry the depth variable in the rows too now you can see that uh, Tableau have created kind of a uh, uh, y axis is an x axis over a kind of a graph and it have added just one single point. It happened because if you look at columns and rows, it's showing it's saying some population and sum of data uh, that uh, variable. So all the uh, data which is under the depth variable is aggregated and all the data under the population variable got aggregated so in order to give you a more understanding so if i go to my excel and if i go to my population variable if i select this whole population as you can see it here our population is about uh, about 22 um, million so if i go back here and can see it here this is my population which is just saying that the population which we drag the line here is about uh, 222 million which is very much similar to which is we are getting here uh, about 225 million and now if i go to my depth variable uh, and i aggregate all the depths that i have in my data and you can see it here that uh, i have depths about close to 199k so that's what this graph is representing in just one single point but suppose if you want to further divide this data into different data points then you can do uh, uh, several other things so suppose you just don't want to see the overall aggregate uh, data point which is just one data point if you suppose if you want to see uh, the relationship between population and death based on different regions so if i suppose if i grab this uh, variable region and put it here over colors so here you can see that uh, 
the data got divided into four categories north central northeast south and west so here you can see while dragging the categorical variable over the color what it will do it will divide the data into four into different categories based on the uh, categories we have under the region for this we have just four categories under the region that's why the data got divided uh, into four uh, uh, segments and you can see it here now and it's saying the region northeast have this death and population uh, north central have this but still under each category it's aggregating the data so let's see uh, in order to dig a bit deeper if i go to my data in excel let's suppose first i just sort the data into so it will be easier for me to do aggregation so i will just say sort here and then I will say sort by region and I'll say okay so now I have north central rows first so now if I go to west region uh, so suppose north central so this is the north central the third point and if I come here I will see how many uh, what is the population under the north central if I select these data points which are for the north central you can see that the population is about this and if I come to north central and you can see that the population is very is exactly the same which we are getting from there and now if I go to death select just deaths for north central and we have the sum is here which is 519738 and here you can see that sum is exactly the same so I'm just trying to connect what Tableau is doing and how uh, what Tableau is doing and I'm just trying to correlate it with the actual what based on the data and that how that I segment how Tableau is segmenting the data and what's actually it's showing to us in a more uh, realistic or more practical way to you guys so that it will be more easy to understand so by you by putting the region on the color as I said that the Tableau have divided the data based on that variable but suppose if I drag this state variable as I told you guys that in this uh, data we have each row for each state so suppose if I drag the state variable over the details and now you can see we have state so what happened is that first Tableau have divided the data based on the region and then it have divided the data based on state and so for each state we have different data point as as, you, as if I move my mouse over the graph you can see the numbers keeps on changing but the color still remain uh, 4 which is corresponding to the region and now let's see that uh, if I want to see that what's the relationship between death and the population you can we can easily find that relationship if we go to analytics uh, in terms of relationship I want to say that suppose if the population is increasing can it impact the death as you can see from this graph there seems to be a very linear relationship as the population is increasing it's uh, very logical that the death will also increase so if I go to analytics and if I go to this trend line and if I click it and if I grab it towards the plot here we have different uh, options related to trend line linear logarithmic exponential polynomial and power, uh, power so probably for this data linear it looks more better because there is a it is visually seems to be a linear relationship between power and death so if I put it here you can see that what happened is that Tableau have drawn four lines for me because we have region here uh, under the color uh, therefore Tableau have divided uh, the data into four regions but suppose if you are not interested into separate line you would like to see an overall relationship between population and death then the uh, easiest way is that you just uh, click this down arrow button and just remove this variable from the region variable from the color 
now we have all the data points uh, based on the states as uh, my data have uh, is unique at state level and now and now this data line is based on the overall uh, data that i have imported so if i hover my mouse on this line you can easily see that uh, the tableau have created a regression line uh, and it has saying that uh, death is equal to uh, some 0 0.00 into population plus the intersection so here you can see that the, when the population increase then the death is increasing because this 0 0.00875 is a kind of a slope uh, so as the population is increasing by one the death is, will increase by 0 0.00875 uh, but as you can see that our population is in millions so once the population increase by 1 million the deaths will also increase according to this coffee uh, this slope another thing here to note here is that the, there is a r squared value so if you uh, know a bit statistics you uh, if the r squared value is high it means that that line that you have fitted into the data is very uh, is very much according to the data and it's very significant uh, so this is in this video what we have covered that how you can create a relationship between a uh, numeric variable how you can represent it in, in a kind of uh, scatter plots in uh, tableau and then finally what we have done is that uh, we have also tried to fit a trend line to your data uh, in tableau so again there are different kind of trend lines that you can fit uh, not just uh, linear trend line you can also use logarithmic exponential and many other uh, thank you for watching the video